Good morning, it is Monday and I'm here down in the dye dungeon, also known as my dye studio, where I dye yarn, I package orders, and basically all the Volan Vine yarns magic happens. So as promised, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my workspace where, where I do all the things Volan Vine yarns, and I hope you guys are down for that because we've got a lot to get through, so let's get started. This is pretty much the first thing you see when you walk into my office uh, and yeah here is my desk where I fulfill orders and update my shop and do inventory and all that good stuff and right next to me are all the skeins of yarn that I have to package today um, but wait that's not all because over here are some skeins that I dyed last week I dyed one batch of I am no bird and I've still have to skein and label those, uh, but those are going out today as well. Back over to this area over here, this is my crazy monkey ball winder, uh, where I reskein any yarns that have tangles in them or snags, so I can potentially still save the skeins. I will say tangles do happen from time to time, and this has been an incredible lifesaver. And yeah, here's the logo. Uh, crazy monkey creations and they are awesome for all your reskinning needs uh, and it's kind of fun too it's a good arm workout and uh, there's some poly mailers that I use to ship packages I keep those close by to me so I can just easily pivot from my computer to the packaging supplies and my cello wrappers over there and yeah and there's my air conditioner that I have to hook up because it is quite hot out. And over here in this corner I have a microphone uh, because I did at one point have grand plans to start up another audio podcast, but that is not in the cards at the moment. Uh, one day I'd like to have another audio podcast. We shall see. We shall see. And this guy right here is my buddy. I love this thing so much. It, it's made my packaging life so much easier. It's basically a label printer and yeah, it makes labeling packages a breeze. And this unsightly box right here is full of undyed yarn that I still have to put away and do inventory on. And right over here we have some labels. I have a lot of them. So yeah, these are all the labels that go on the yarn. So I'm gonna have some fun with those in a bit. And this little nook over here is where I store packaging. And uh, this device right here is where I skein all of my yarn. Dennis actually rigged this up for me. And I just basically loop a skein of yarn around it and stand away and twist my yarn. And you know, it's, it's really handy and saves my arms a lot of stress <laughs> and then of course I have a, a little uh, Google Chrome right here because I, I do spend a lot of time in this area skeining yarn so I like to have uh, a YouTube video going while I while I work the cool thing about this little guy though is that I can just pick it up and go into the dye area and I'll have all of my my colorway recipes on hand so it's really versatile and I like that that's a great little Tool that I got. I will say my decoration choices down here are a little questionable. I honestly have no idea what's happening in this corner over here, but we have some more artwork. We have a candle, and um, there's another unicorn bust that was gifted to me, and I just don't know where exactly to put it, and a chair for visitors. Any Anyone want to come by? Hang out with me? Keep me company? Anybody? And some more storage space under there. There's a coffee table that I just don't know what to do with. This print I really love. It's by Dame Darcy, who does these amazing illustrations of mermaids and some other macabre <laughs> characters. So yeah, definitely check her out. 
This is my pet that I keep down here. It is a house plant. I'm not sure what kind of plant it is, but it's really cool. It has like these little pink flecks on it. This portrait right here I found on Etsy. I believe it's an antique. I don't know how authentic it is, but she's she's knitting. She looks like she's a Victorian. If this print looks familiar, uh, you are not mistaken. This is another print by East Witching, an artist that uh, I really, really enjoy her work. I, I have another print upstairs in my craft room of a raven, but the sheep just seemed so apropos to put down here. In this area right here is where I take all of my photos of yarn. Uh, I have this in-house kind of soft box light that is really handy for getting natural light photos. Um, and then I also have these wooden planks that I use sometimes for more stylistic backdrops. Uh, but this one I've been using a lot for some of my Instagram shots. Uh, but underneath I just have a white piece of oak tag that I use for all of my listing shots. And yeah, so it's a very versatile area that I get to switch up and play around with. And my respirator is over here. I don't know why I didn't put it away last week, but there she is. And then I have this adorable print of sheepies hanging up just to, you know, add some pizzazz to this area. <laughs> and over here is where I fill up pots of water and soak and rinse yarn. And yeah, it's, it's a kitchen, but I will be completely transparent with you. I do not keep any food down here uh, because again, it is a basement and I wanna keep it as dry and clean as possible. There's actually no food in this refrigerator. It's completely empty <laughs> except for a bottle of seltzer that's in there. But yes, anyway, this is where I rinse yarn and fill up pots of water. And these are the pots that I use. And as you can see, they're sitting on this really nifty dolly or cart that I use to transport heavy pots of water into the back room where I dye all the yarn. Uh, so let's go check that out right now. Uh, but first, before we do that, this is my spin dryer, which is really handy for wringing out excess water uh, when I rinse yarn. So it uh, dries a lot faster, uh, in case you're wondering. It's Nina Soft, and I got this from dharmadyeworks.com, and I love it. So coming through here, there's a bathroom, which honestly I do not use for anything but rinsing and dumping water. And in here is where all the yarn dyeing magic happens, my friends. I will be honest, it's not as glamorous as, you know, yarn dyeing may seem. It's pretty, uh, it's, it's a messy, it's a messy business, my friends. So these are my induction burners that I use. I got them off of Amazon. I don't know if they sell them anymore, but they're really awesome. Uh, they take special pots that the burners won't turn on unless the pot is on top of it and it sounds an alarm like whenever I take it off. So it's kind of annoying like that, but it's also very, very safe. Uh, and here I keep my lids and my tools. And <laughs> if you can see, Dennis rigged this up. So it looks very, it looks like the set of Dexter when he <laughs> murdered or somebody but uh, this is actually protecting the the drywall that's behind there and in this corner is where I keep all of my dyes my acid dyes and they're all organized by color so over here we have reds and pinks yellows and browns greens blues and purples and then all of my big jars and they are labeled on the top um, when Emily was working for me, she did an amazing job color coding all of these and I suck at maintaining it, but I am making do. So <laughs> I have a system that works for me and you know, some more tools up there. And over here is where I keep my undyed yarn inventory. Uh, again, this is not all of it because as you saw, there was there were some boxes out front and you're probably wondering what the hell is this? Um, that is a treadmill, my friends, uh, that we rarely use because as you know, Murphy's Law goes, when you buy home gym equipment, you use it for about a week or two and then it just kind of falls to the wayside, but it's there. It's there. I do use it on occasion when I need to, you know, blow off steam or I just feel really gross. I need to run something off <laughs> and yeah, there's a fan. There's a fan sitting on top of it. Go figure. But yeah, we do have the little TV over here so you can put in a Google Chrome or, you know, Fire Stick and watch some podcasts. Uh, so that's really fun. I should really use this more often. But uh, yeah, and uh, let's see, citric acid bucket right there. And I'm trying to think what else I want to say. I have a window over here with an exhaust fan and sometimes Judgy pops by to say hello. Uh, it's really, really cute. Oh yeah, and here is a binder full of all of my colorway formulas. <laughs> so uh, I do have uh, printed versions of all of my colorway formulas and I do keep them digitized in Evernote. So uh, you know, if, one, if I lose one or the other, I always have a backup. So, you know, hey, 
Pro tip, but that is pretty much my dye studio, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Out there is the garden uh, that connects up to your kitchen. So, you know, my commute is very awful, very stressful. You know, just come out, enjoy the garden, come down here uh, and get to work. But, you know, maybe I will insert some clips of our garden so you can see what that looks like. Hey guys, I'm just checking in. I am almost done dyeing for the day. I'm only dyeing one batch of yarn because I spent the whole morning packaging orders and I really only have energy to dye one batch of yarn today. But um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to edit this together. I guess the idea is to give you an overall tour of my dye space and just little snippets of my day on, on a Monday especially because Mondays are my busiest day. So I hope this is all gelling together and editing together smoothly. I'll find out once I bring this into my computer but uh yeah i am dying i apologize the lighting is crap down here my friends uh, so i uh, thank you for bearing with me if you're dealing with like blowout like this right now unfortunately that can't be helped but today i am dying a batch of volina by number five which if you can see in here this was my five year anniversary colorway and this is the second layer of speckling that I've applied and I'm just letting it exhaust and absorb and then and then I'm gonna add one more layer of color and then rinse it out. As I mentioned in a previous video, I do plan on making a more comprehensive kind of tutorial or just demo of how I dye yarn. It's not scientific at all, it's just my crazy method of dyeing yarn, how I taught myself how to dye yarn. So anyway, that is coming down the pipeline pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, here is my now messy dye studio. Again, I do not make an effort to keep a tidy space. I get very messy down here. Things get wet, things splash around, uh, but that's that's how I work. Everyone has a different way of working and you know, I hope you guys, if you are learning to dye yarn, you're finding your own method, creative method of dyeing yarn. There's no right or wrong way. Although I will say, wear a respirator. A respirator is key and essential. Uh, you want to protect your lungs and your respiratory system and you don't want to develop any crazy allergies. So the one rule is wear a respirator or protection when you dye yarn. But yes, that is the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will see you on the next video. Bye.